This is Chestacho. The study of consciousness has long fascinated scientists, philosophers, and scholars alike. One area of research focuses on the neural correlates of consciousness, which aims to identify the relationship between brain activity and subjective experiences. By studying brain activity patterns and employing brain imaging techniques, researchers hope to better understand the complex nature of consciousness. Neural correlates and brain imaging techniques. A significant portion of scientific literature on consciousness examines the neural correlates of consciousness. Researchers employ brain imaging techniques such as EEG and fMRI to study the physical measures of brain activity related to conscious awareness. These techniques enable scientists to investigate specific brain regions and activity patterns that may correlate with consciousness. Gamma band oscillations and the binding problem. One notable theory in this field suggests that consciousness is linked to high frequency gamma band oscillations in brain activity. This idea emerged in the 1980s when researchers Researchers like Christoph von der Malsberg and Wolf Singer proposed that gamma oscillations could solve the so-called binding problem. The binding problem refers to the challenge of unifying information from different brain regions into a cohesive experience. Rodolfo Linnaeus, for example, proposed that consciousness arises from recurrent thalamocortical resonance where specific and non-specific thalamocortical systems interact via synchronous oscillations in the the gamma band frequency, brain regions, and consciousness. Research has indicated that activity in primary sensory areas of the brain is insufficient to produce consciousness. For instance, individuals can report a lack of awareness even when the primary visual cortex demonstrates clear electrical responses to a stimulus. Higher brain areas, such as the prefrontal cortex, are considered more promising for understanding consciousness. The prefrontal cortex is involved in a range of higher cognitive functions, collectively referred to as as executive functions. Top-down versus bottom-up flow of activity. There is significant evidence suggesting that a top-down flow of neural activity from the frontal cortex to sensory areas is more predictive of conscious awareness than a bottom-up flow of activity. However, other brain regions, like the temporal lobe, have also been found to be involved in visual perception, indicating that multiple brain areas could contribute to conscious awareness. Modulation of neural responses. The modulation of neural responses by external stimuli has been found to correlate with aspects of consciousness, such as the phenomenal experience of stimulus intensity, for example, brightness, contrast. Studies conducted by Danko Nikolic and his research group demonstrated that changes in predictive brightness correlated with the modulation of firing rates and neural synchrony in primary visual areas. Perturbational Complexity Index, PCI. In 2013, researchers proposed the Perturbational Complexity Index as a measure of the algorithmic complexity of cortical responses to transcranial magnetic stimulation. PCI has been shown to differentiate between various consciousness states, such as being awake, in REM sleep, or in a vegetative state, making it a potentially useful quantitative assessment of consciousness. Evolutionary approaches and non-mammalian consciousness. Assuming that consciousness is not exclusive to humans, several evolutionary approaches can be taken to study the neural correlates of consciousness. For example, avian consciousness has been in investigated by comparing the neuroanatomy of birds and mammals. This comparative study has validated some of the major mammalian consciousness brain theories and their applicability to avian brains. This research also brings reptilian brains into focus, suggesting that the phylogenetic origin of consciousness may be earlier than previously believed. Prefrontal cortex and higher order consciousness. Joaquin Fuster of UCLA has emphasized the importance of the prefrontal cortex, along with the areas of Wernicke and Broca, in the development of human language capacities. These areas are believed to be neuroanatomically necessary for the emergence of higher order consciousness in humans. Brainstem and Consciousness A 2016 study investigated the relationship between brainstem lesions and coma or vegetative states. The research identified a small region of the rostral, dorsolateral, pontine tegmentum in the brainstem that may drive consciousness through functional connectivity with the two cortical regions. The left ventral anterior insular cortex and the pregnual anterior singular 
cingulate cortex, these three regions may work together as a triad to maintain consciousness. The study of neural correlates of consciousness is an ongoing and complex field of research. By examining brain activity, patterns, brain regions, and neural responses to external stimuli, researchers are gradually unveiling the intricate relationship between brain activity and subjective experiences. Although significant progress has been made, the complete understanding of consciousness remains a challenging and fascinating scientific endeavor. As our knowledge advances, we may continue to uncover new insights into the nature of consciousness and its role in human cognition and experience. This is Chestacho.